Peter Crouch, Steven Gerrard should swerve the Newcastle job. The videos that filtered out of the Rangers' dressing room when they won their first league title for a decade said everything about Steven Gerrard. The unity and bond he created at Ibrox was so obvious. Typically, he was right in the middle of the celebrations, sliding across the floor. Those clips made you want to be a part of that dressing room, part of what Stevie had built. There are some characters who pull everybody with them, and that is a quality he has always possessed, an aura, the setting of standards. I had the pleasure of playing with him for three years, and every day was an eye-opener. Yes, the undeniable ability had mouths open regularly at training, but it was the leadership, passion, and dedication to his profession that shone through. He became this awe-inspiring leader, and, if I am honest, impressing Stevie felt more important than doing so with the manager. I wanted him to rate me. He is the only player I've dedicated an entire chapter to in my books, I have so much admiration and respect for him. When Steven Gerrard walked into a room, you knew about it. That will be no different now as a manager, and the job he has performed at Rangers is astonishing. He left his comfort zone on Merseyside, living up in Glasgow on his own. To do that and achieve what he has shows the mark of the man. That Newcastle are casting glances in his direction is no surprise at all. Approaching Stevie is a complete no-brainer. There is a major rebuild to be done by whoever takes over from Steve Bruce, and there are similarities to the job he walked into at Rangers, albeit with slightly different budgets. If I'm a Newcastle fan, I'd love somebody like Stevie to come in. It is a mouth-watering prospect for any possible new manager. Where can they take Newcastle with significant funding? I'm imagining St. James Park under the lights against Barcelona in the Champions League, but that is potentially a few years down the line. Whether that fits with Stevie's timeline will be key to his decision if an offer arrives. Because let's not mess about, here is Liverpool's next manager. He has to be. Jurgen Klopp has that job for as long as he wants it, but he is not going to stay around forever. At some point, his family might want to move back to Germany. When that happens, Gerard will be ready. That is worth waiting for, the move back home. He could manage his club for 10 years and cement his legend even further, if that is possible. He is on that path where he is, so to take Newcastle would be a huge call. I would not bet against him doing another magnificent job in the Northeast, if it happened, but the man to take that leap does run the risk of the appointment ending up short term. Right now, we do not know how the new owners will run the club. If I were in his shoes, I would probably give it a swerve. There would be an element of feeling wary about the unknowns, for Other sure. factors are at play as well. The Rangers' support would understand his departure for Anfield, whereas it might be a somewhat different conversation with Newcastle. When Gerrard was a player, it was obvious management was in his DNA, some are just born like that, and the evidence suggests success will follow him around. But there is no guarantee at Newcastle, because this is also embryonic at the moment. Perhaps it doesn't work out, perhaps he finds himself on a big contract when Klopp does leave. There are plenty of things to consider, and I wouldn't completely write off the Newcastle job. If there is a five-year plan, it is a mouth-watering prospect, challenging for titles with the money now at their disposal. It is absolutely the correct move for somebody ambitious who backs themselves. Stevie is both those things. If Newcastle get it right, it is a club ready to lift off. Stevie would be a terrific appointment. But how far away is real success at Newcastle, and I mean silverware, and how does that impact on the Liverpool job? These are huge questions he must ask himself if the interest in him becomes serious over the coming days. Mendy may be the missing piece in Chelsea title jigsaw Thomas Frank had a right after Chelsea somehow beat Brentford on Saturday night when saying his team would have won that game nine times out of ten. The reason they didn't? Edward Mendy. I spent my playing days hammering goalkeepers, and I'm breaking the habit of a lifetime here by wanting to focus on the excellence of a number one. Mendy underlines the importance of a goalkeeper to a title-winning side. He is the final, missing piece that could get them over the line this season. Chelsea were hanging on, and it is one of those games they would have drawn or lost in previous years. That Mendy save from Christian Norgard at the end was unbelievable, and there were a few more but it is Mendy's overall contribution that has given them an added calmness since he arrived from Rennes last year. His touch is spot on when dealing with horrendous back passes, he comes and takes crosses with authority. Look at all the teams to have lifted the league title, and one common theme is trust in an exceptional goalkeeper. The signings of Alisson and Ederson altered the outlook for Liverpool and Manchester City, with both going on to finish top. Mendy is a major influence in Chelsea now finding themselves in the mix.
There are other factors, of course. You have to be strong everywhere but the margins are so fine that the goalkeeper is often a deciding factor. You just have to look at Petrasec in years gone by, and I wonder how many points Peter and Kasper Schmeichel have won between them through their careers. Chelsea needed to get Kipa Arizabalaga's replacement right. Kipa did not work out at Stamford Bridge, it all felt a bit erratic. Mendy has slotted in seamlessly, signed at 28, with experience and mistakes behind him, he is one of those goalkeepers who goes largely unnoticed most of the time. That is exactly the sort of steadiness you want. And when his moment in the spotlight came this weekend, he turned dropped points into three points.